can we talk about John Hamm's penis? I know, you probably knew that was coming. Uh, yesterday, I posted a picture of John Hamm's penis because I'd been Googling it because, you know, the word on the street was, he's always commando. So I kind of had to see for myself. And um, I feel like I should have been punished for such loserdom, but I was actually rewarded with this picture. I know, insane, right? And the response to the posting of the picture was pretty astronomical. Um, and I think it just made everyone really happy. Uh, John Hamm's penis. And so then I got a tweet from Stephanie Wilder Taylor from Baby on Board, who is hilariously funny and amazing, saying, I shared your picture of John Hamm's penis because it just makes me happy. And it dawned on me um, that John Hamm's penis makes everyone happy. And some may be happier than others, but I felt like maybe America should consider using John Hamm's penis as a. Um, as like a tactical, like a peacekeeper, maybe. You know what I mean? Like they could have like a secret name for it, like the John Ham Bone, or something like that. I'm just going off the cuff. I don't, I don't know what, what they would use in the military world, but it's just a thought. And I felt like when I sent out that picture, um, it was almost as if I had bought the world a Coke, you know, like just for that moment, if everyone was in like perfect harmony. And I even uh, got a response saying that, a uh, girl's server was down in her office because they were all Googling John Ham's penis. So, I mean, that's a sign that their office has a, a really bad server, but also that her office is really fun and, and filled with um, a lot of single women. So anyway, that is my thought for the day. If you have any thoughts on John Ham's penis, of course, share them with me. And I hope that you did drink every time I said John Ham's penis, because then you'd be like super drunk by now, which would make you want to see the pictures even more. Um, until next time, this is Jenny Eisenman, Jenny from the blog at thesuburbanjungle.com.